So this is what my lock looks like. Uh, you can ignore this because um, I already installed it, but this isn't normally here. This is part of the SwitchBot lock. Um, but my issue was that I haven't been able to find um, a lock that specifically fits on this. Um, and I really need this lock to be a smart lock because it's my only access from the back of the house. If I park my car in the back, the only way to get in is through this door. And if this was a smart lock, I wouldn't have to carry keys anymore. So this is my, my solution. So this is the switch bot lock that I'm gonna use on my sliding door. Uh, it's an interesting concept. Um, so far, um, I've had quite a few different locks, smart locks. Um, this is the only one that I could feasibly use on my sliding door uh, because of its unique way that it attaches. Um, it has a plate that goes into here that you can either stick or screw into the door, which is nice. Um, and then this has adjust, or this has different adapters. This is the XXL uh, one, but there's also, uh, I think there's two other ones. Um, and they just have different size openings for different size locks. So if you attach it, you'll see that it, it's flush with the back of the lock, which doesn't work for me, but I was able to 3D print this little sleeve. Um, essentially, it goes onto the XXL one and it brings it past the back of the lock. So when this sits on my door, uh, it, it reaches into the recess where my where my deadbolt is so it can work. So yeah, I'm gonna install it now and then you can, you can see what it looks like. Uh, essentially, you just line this up and then you put these on and you make sure that it's touching the lock. Uh, in my case, it's going in the very, the closest holes possible. And then when you turn this, it locks and unlocks the door. So then you just have to put in the screws to hold it in here. Put the cover plate back on like this. Oops, let's see. Yeah, and then it ends up looking like that. All right. All right, I'm just gonna walk you through calibrating the lock for the first time. All right, close your door and lock it manually. Hit next. Now unlock it manually. Tap next. Open the door and lock it manually. Push the door so that it's right next to the door frame. And tap next. Now you leave a gap. And test, test to unlock. Close the door and tap test to lock. And there you go. Another thing after you install the lock is right here, you can stick a sensor and the sensor itself is going to detect whether the door is open or closed, um, which is also useful. So I also got the keypad, right? So when I'm outside, if I just hit the lock button, it will lock the door. And then when I want to go inside, I type the key code. So it's pretty nice. It also comes with a card. So if you want to use like an NFC card or tag, um, you can use that. Um, yeah, but it's pretty good. Um, most of my house is uh, using HomeKit stuff and this doesn't natively support HomeKit. Um, so I'm using a, I'm actually using a Raspberry Pi, a little mini Raspberry Pi computer uh, running HomeBridge as a way to connect this to the home app on my phone. I'd check out the website. Um, it gives you all the information on how you can use it, what you can run it on. I run it on my Raspberry Pi. You can do a Raspberry Pi Zero or a full-size Pi. Also, any other computer you might have. Um, and uh, after you have Homebridge running, you want to um, install the SwitchBot plugin. I'll put all these links in the description. 
Um, and this is totally, this part is completely optional. This is just if you want this lock to also be, um, you know, controlled in the, the HomeKit app. Um, if, if you're using HomeKit for other locks and other lights and stuff in your house already. So figured I'd just point that out that it's an option even though they technically don't support HomeKit out of the box. So if you don't do this, you'll just have the SwitchBot app on your phone to control this lock. Um, or you just use the keypad outside like I do. If you found this useful, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.